Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Adubato. We kick off the show with Dr. Cindy Jeb, who is the president of Ramapo College of New Jersey. Good to see you, Dr. Jeb. Oh, great to see you, too. Thank you very much for having me today. Uh, it is our honor. And also, I want to thank you for your service uh, to uh, our military. You're teaching at West Point. Describe that work before we talk about Ramapo, your connection to West Point. No, absolutely. So I uh, retired after 39 years of service, and a big portion of my time in the service was serving at West Point, uh, particularly as senior faculty and culminating serving as Dean of the Academic Board at West Point. So that was my uh, culminating assignment. And I feel that when people ask me how the transition's been from West Point to Ramapo, it's been very smooth. And it's interesting to see that there's more commonality than anything else across the two institutions. Yeah, it's interesting you say that. I often argue learning is learning, teaching is teaching. And I was honored a few years back to actually teach up at West Point, uh, a course on leadership and communication. And the, the students, the cadets up there were just as engaged as anyone would ever want their class to be, their students to be. But the, the question I have is this, but you come to New Jersey and immediately you laugh already, you smile already, and you're dealing with state funding issues. You're dealing with enrollment issues. You're dealing with a whole range of issues that you may have dealt with at West Point, but not in the same way. Biggest challenge you face as president of, of uh, Ramapo College? Yeah, so there are challenges, and actually that's what makes this a very fun and exciting time to be in, in higher ed. So the challenges, especially coming out of the pandemic, and I say coming out of, but I use that loosely since I think we need to remain humble <laughs> in this environment, is I would say the big challenge based on what our discussions and collaborations have been with the K-12 educators are the learning deficits, wellness deficits, and social development deficits that we're seeing in that space. And we wanna make sure that we understand that and that we're collaborating and finding ways to bridge gaps, as well as making sure that we have the resources necessary to really have the um, opportunity that students feel a sense of belonging when they're here on campus. Let me try this. Um, what do you say to parents, others, students as well, potential students? Um, and for many of them, college, higher education, they're not convinced of the investment. They're not convinced of the investment of time, money, and effort. Yes. <clears throat> the value of a college degree today, 2022 and beyond, versus yes. five, 10 years ago. Please. Yes. No, I appreciate the opportunity. And um, I, I want to approach this in a couple of different ways because it's important, especially as we just said, coming out of the pandemic, what we're seeing globally around us, nationally around us, locally around us, because we're all connected. And it really puts our mission in sharp focus. And at the end of the day, I think we can all agree that our world is hungering for ethical leaders who are going to be change agents across all sectors and really advance our society. And I say that because it's a strategic investment, right? Higher education is strategic investment. And let me explain that a little bit. I don't know if there's another institution that stitches our society together. Coming from the military, I think uh, the military has always prided itself to be part of that tapestry. People coming from all over with different backgrounds and different perspectives and so forth. Besides higher ed, where else do people come from different backgrounds, lived experiences, different perspectives, all with the idea of going through a journey together, right, of a transformational journey to learn about the world around them, to be critical thinkers, to be able to have empathy and adapt to a changing world. When we think about the kind of world that our students who are entering grade school right now, 65% of them are going to be in jobs that are, don't even exist right now going to the World Economic Forum. Most people are going to change professionally 12 to 15 times, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So the college education, particularly the liberal arts, when we think about how to think and not what to think, by uh, exploring disciplines across STEM and social sciences and humanities and having the outcomes that are going to be necessary to strive to really um, to uh, thrive in a changing world, higher ed is immensely critical. And I would just also like to share with everybody, 
I'm very proud that Ramapo is part of the Najaski group. I have six sister institutions and collectively we contribute $6 billion to the New Jersey um, uh, economy, 220 million in tax revenue, 36,000 jobs. There is a dire need when we think about what we can do to contribute to New Jersey specifically, as especially state institutions. One more before I let you go real quick. Uh, we just, I was honored to host a few months back the Raspberry Making a Difference Awards, yes. honoring people who are making a difference. We've had many of them on the air with us as part of our Make a Difference series. Real quick, that was at Ramapo College. Give me yes. 30 seconds or less on what that event was like for you, your first. Yes, I was inspired by, well, you saw the, the heroics of phenomenal people who just in the, in the moment did the right thing and that their uh, ethos, if you will, was service to others. And that is what our higher ed institution is all about, is being service oriented, leader oriented, individualized attention so that people are inspired to make a difference. They inspired everyone there in that, uh, in that uh, auditorium that we were in. And I thought uh, it was just a wonderful way to be, again, introduced to the people of New Jersey. Dr. Cindy Jeb is president of Ramapo College of New Jersey. Uh, Dr. Jeb, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. it very much and look forward to seeing you again. We will. Stay with us. We'll be right back. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by Seton Hall University, the Turrell Fund, supporting Reimagine Child Care, New Jersey Sharing Network, RWJ Barnabas Health, IBEW Local 102, Eastern Atlantic States Regional Council of Carpenters, NJM Insurance Group, Fedway Associates, Inc., and by the Russell Berry Foundation. Promotional support provided by ROINJ and by NJ.com. This is the Seton Hall story, one that comes to life every day on our campus. This is the place where great minds discover, innovate, collaborate, and find their true calling. This is the place where passion has a purpose, where learning inspires leading. The bonds we make, the values we teach, inspire our community to take heart and take action. This is Seton Hall University. This is what great minds can do.